in this type 2 electrolytic cell, we have dissolved sodium fluoride salt in water. The cell operates at room temperature. When you click on the switch to close the switch, you will see that water is oxidized at the positive electrode. That's the anode. And you will produce oxygen gas at the anode. Notice that you also produce hydrogen ions at the anode, and that four electrons have left the water molecules and are now in the carbon electrode. This is a non-spontaneous cell, so the DC power supply is pulling the electrons from the left and pushing them toward the right. In the final step, you see that water is also reduced at the cathode, which is the ne negative electrode to the right. This is, produces two molecules of diatomic hydrogen and four hydroxide ions. The challenge with a type 2 electrolytic cell is determining which particles are going to be oxidized and which are going to be reduced. If you look down below the animation, it's it says in the lesson there that uh, you need to locate all positions of all substances present on your standard reduction potential table. The species reduced will be the highest one on the left side, and the species oxidized will be the lowest one on the right side. For this cell, water is both highest on the left and lowest on the right, and that identifies water as the species oxidized and water as the species reduced.